Hi guys. Welcome back um, to video number three, Ellie's Bathroom from The Last of Us 2 video game by Naughty Dog. That's not actually the title, but oh, there's the bathroom. That's what we're making. Yep, we are making the bathroom. In the last couple of videos, we've done the living room. We've done, or at least a portion of the living room. We did um, the kitchen as well, which took forever. Um, anyway, so now we're moving on. We're going to do the bathroom. Then we'll be finishing off with the bedroom and all that good stuff. But I couldn't fit it all in one video, guys. I really tried, but I had so much video. So this is just mainly the bathroom. Yeah. So there's another picture. There's not a whole lot of pictures. So these are in-game screenshots that I had to use just to kind of find all the details. So now we're we're painting the walls. I already did the shop cloth with the Mod Podge. Now we're painting them to match the bathroom. Oh, here's the base of the sink. Oh, see the sink up in the corner there? Yes, I am carving the sink out of wood. And I'm cutting dangerously towards myself. Do not do that. That's a bad idea. Don't cut towards yourself. I'm a professional. Leave bodily injury to the professionals. Oh, and you see that sink? It just sort of magically appeared. Um, I just, that, out of thin air, that's what happened with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, uh, I don't know what happened to the video, guys. It was so long ago. All right, just roll with it. Um, look at that pretty sink. Yeah, I don't want any of those cracks, though. So I'm going to use some spackling compound and fill in those gaps so it's more rounded, like a sink should be. And then I'm going to spend countless hours sanding it once again. And then I'm going to make a toilet out of foam. Because I didn't really know how else to carve a toilet. Um, so that I could get that rounded look, you know, and be able to sand it. So yeah, foam. I love foam. It's a foam. <laughs> polystyrene foam. That's what I was trying to say. It's polystyrene. I get it at Home Depot. Or... Lowe's, or basically wherever I happen to be and I see. It's one of those things that if I'm at a store and I see polystyrene foam, I, I have to buy it. I, I just do. I, I have to at least buy one sheet, if not two. It's, it's a thing. Um, and it's kind of bad because it takes up a lot of space. Anyhow, I'm getting distracted. So here we are. I'm um, using a reference on my phone, as you can see in the background, of um, what very little I can see at the bottom of the toilet. And so um, I'm trying to recreate such things. And doing it this way is very difficult, but it's close enough, all right? It ain't perfect, but it's good enough. And it all fits together, sort of, uh, sort yeah, I'm going to have to sand that just a little bit more. And then... And then it should look better. Yeah, see, look, it looks like a toilet. I think it's a bit tall. Oh, and then I made the tank out of wood. Because I was lazy and there was already a piece of wood that was like the right size. So um, I just did the, the wood. It's it's balsa wood. Soft balsa wood. It's it's easy to work with. Very, very easy to work with. Anyways, um, yeah, so it kind of worked for the perfect tank. Yep. Um, now it's time to glue, glue it together. With some uh, low temperature hot glue. Um, have to use low temperature on my hot glue gun. Uh, that tank. Oh, it's a, it's a bit heavy. Um, it's a bit heavy on top. Top heavy toilet. <laughs> Anywho. Um, yeah. Low temperature uh, hot glue. Okay, now we're moving on to... Um, oh, the bathtub. The bathtub was very, very difficult. I tried to do it several different ways, and, and um, well, uh, none of it none of it actually worked out. So here we are um, with some of those uh, thin acrylic sheets I got off of Amazon, and I'm, I'm just going to glue it to a piece of foam so I can get the right shape. Um, that's going to be my my start is going to be that. See, I should have started that acrylic plastic on the side, and I, I didn't, but I think I did. I wonder why. No, I'm, I must have fixed it. You'll see. See, when you first do it like this, right, and then you fold it together, you get that stupid corner right on the corner. Like, had I done it on the side, it would have been flawless. Flawless. And I think I stared at it a while, tried to fix it, and then got irritated and ripped it all apart. I did. 
See, watch. Wait, wait, wait. Magic. See, it's on the side. Fantastic. All right. Now, I decided I really wanted my bathtub to look bathtubby. <clears throat> you know, like a bathtub with it, obviously. <laughs> I wanted it to be, like, rounded on the in, in, in the inside and um, really smoothed out. So I'm using some air dry clay with, with a bit of water and um, my hands to uh, create that look. Yep. Um, I was originally just going to start with a little bit of clay and kind of put it in the corners like that so it had that rounded look. And then I, I don't know what happened. I just I got really, really carried away with the clay. And so I just kept on going and decided, you know what, I've come this far. I might as well make it look like a proper bathtub, a proper clawfoot bathtub. You know, blath, blath, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so here we are. I'm smoothing it out with my finger. I really like air dry clay because I don't have to bake it. Um, so when you want to, you know, uh, do quick clay projects, air dry clay. That's 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 it. Yep, that's the key. Okay, so I decided that since the inside was going to be all bathtubby, that I needed to make the outside bathtubby too. So that's what we're doing here. We're making it rounded and smoothing it out. And um, yay, going to let that dry. And then um, we'll come back to that late. Oh, right now. We're going to come back to that right now. And it looks as if I've been sanding on this uh, bathtub for just a few moments. But it's it's been probably a good hour. That's why it looks so smooth. But then it's not quite tall enough. So I just went ahead and glued some foam onto the bottom as well. Um, but decided that it needed to be smooth on the bottom as well. So <clears throat> rounded that off like a claw foot tub. And then I had to fix my seams with some spackling compound because, again, it needed to look bathtubby and smooth, right? So um, you got to pay attention to all those little tiny details. Oh, oh, so here I am making barrels. Barrels. They're so fun. Barrels. So, yeah, I basically cut two pieces of foam, make sure they're matchy-matchy, and then I did the whole, you know, acrylic sheet, glue, um, wrap around sort of thing. Yep, I did that. Uh, I, I made quite a few barrels in this house. There's one in the kitchen, um, and there's a couple in the bathroom now. Because it's post-apocalyptic, of course, so they don't have running water. But they do have electricity. I don't know why that is. They just must have thought electricity was more important than running water. So, anyways, they get, they get their water from these barrels. Yeah, so I think that's cool. They're fun to make, sort of. Yeah. I don't know. It, it was all fun to make. So here we are just rounding that barrel off. And later I'm going to go back in and add some paint and clay to it to make it look more barrel-y. And here we are um, with the shelf, the corner shelf. It's going to hold all the goodies. In the bathroom, like the bucket. I don't know why. There was a bucket. And then there was like this horse brush that I epically failed at making. So I decided that instead of a horse. Anyways, you'll see. Um, there's some little teeny tiny details that are going to go on that shelf. And it's going to be great. And here we are. I'm painting the sink. And it's going to be white. And I want it to be shiny. Because it's supposed to look like ceramic. Yeah. And I'm going to paint I'm gonna paint the bathtub too. Look how nice that turned out. So far so good. Yay. So we're going to paint that white. Um, and then later we'll make it shiny too. Um, also, where's the toilet? Oh, I got paint on oh, my hands. Apparently, I was upset about that. Um, here we are <clears throat> painting the toilet. Now this really comes together in this moment. It really does. It really starts to look like an actual toilet. See? Look. As soon as it turns white, it's a toilet. It's like magic. Ta-da! Toilet. Not wood and foam. Ah, yes. Okay, so um, some last-minute details to the space that will be the bathroom. Like trim. It needed trim. I love my walls. It's like a wallpaper texture thing going on there. Oh, here I am trying to glue in a shelf. It's not time for the shelf. I messed up. Sorry, guys. I forgot about I needed a floor. So um, just pretend that you didn't see that shelf part because I should have edited that out but I didn't. So, 
making a floor out of soft balsa wood that I just carved some lines into and painted it white. And now we're going to add some mod podge to make it shiny like ceramic tiles. And then, um, yeah. And then we're going to just do all of the other ceramic stuff that needs to be shiny. Yep. We're going to, we're going to do that too. That sink turned out pretty good. Oh, and, oh yeah, the bathtub was like two colors. It was like this bluish turquoise color, which that is not blue turquoise. That's like a dark blue gray. I should have gone with turquoise. Not sure. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. It would be nice if I had it in the camera. Oh, here we are. We're going to glue down our, our floor. Um, yep. And see, I actually did the bathroom before I did the kitchen. So all that kitchen stuff you see there to the right, it's all done as well. Um, I just did things backwards because I like to be difficult and weird. And so here we are. We're going to glue down this um, shelf. And as you can see, I already previously glued it. <laughs> and so now we're gluing it again like it's the first time. Nobody needs to know. Oh, well, yep, there we're going to put the sink. I think we're just making sure everything fits properly. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks great. Oh, yes, the forgotten window. There's a window. And so, yeah, we got to get that window cut out before we can move on. I'd like to move on. I'd like to. Oh, yes, and we're going to make, um, we're going to, guys, it's kind of like this is the first time I'm watching this because it's been so long. And I edited the video, and I didn't watch it. And so now I'm, I'm doing the audio voiceover and it's like, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time because I was too lazy to pre-watch it before I had to watch it to record the vocals. So here we are. It's a beautiful window. You know, I'm going to do it that way from now on. The two panes and push them together. I've done it in lots of awful ways that were dumb. Okay. These are those little, um, plastic thingies that came with all those Lego toys I, I bought my son. Um, oh yeah. What are we doing? Oh, we're making levers. I remember now. Yeah. This stuff is cool because you can melt it and then like flatten it out and it, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, just watch. It's kind of satisfying to watch actually. And I'm just going to use that tiny little piece, I suppose. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm making. I don't think these are levers. This, oh, I remember now. Yep. Okay. We're, we're making the, the faucet part to the bathtub. This was very intricate. Like teensy tiny pieces. Teensy tiny. And it was very hard. So I wish I would have zoomed in a little bit more. But now I'm cutting random pieces of wires. Um, to I know it doesn't. It, look at that view. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yep. I wanted to make sure you guys could see it very well. So. So you could, anyways, this, um, gosh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. What am I making? I think I'm making, oh, I'm making a handle. Yes. Okay. It's coming back to me. It's a handle. I have to make two of these, you know, the hot, the hot and the cold handles for the faucet, bathtub faucet. It's a very old school bathtub faucet, you know, like the, the claw tub kind. Oh, see, look, I, Use that. Wow. Yep. And that Insta set stuff. Yep. Some glue. Oh, we're just, and I, I did, I, I flattened out a bunch of little tiny pieces of plastic and then I just glued them all together to make it look like a faucet. And oh, look, see, there's the little handles. Um, see, it's, this is fun guys. This is, this is fun. Uh-huh. Oh, what is this? Oh, right. And then like the little tubey part, you know, the sprayer thing. I don't know what any of this stuff is called, guys. It's just, I looked at the picture and I'm making what I see in the picture. And it's the old school handle spray thing that sits on the side of the clawfoot tub. You'll see. All right. It'll make sense when I'm done. Just keep watching. Okay. I mean, all this little tiny intricate stuff. Oh my goodness. And that little hand drill thing that I use to make all the holes. Oh, amazing. I can't believe I ever even lived without it. See, it's coming together, guys. It's, it's coming together. I 
See, and I, I drilled holes into the little pieces of plastic so that everything could be like connected. And wow, that is intricate and detailed. My goodness. It was fun. I actually liked it. I liked making it. It was fun. Yeah, it totally was. See, and that, I love super glue and Instaset. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I ever survived without it. Oh, here we are, we're painting it. Time to paint it. All one color and then not. You'll see. It, it'll all come together. This is just the first layer of paint. It's like a white gray, I think. I don't know. Oh, dirty. Dirty white. Oh, and I, I added some rust when you weren't looking. Um, you blinked. So now we're adding some more washes to make it look, you know, gross and apocalyptic. Oh, and I decided the toilet needed a little extra detail, so I'm carving a rim that I wish I would have, like, put down tape or something because it, it didn't turn out very straight. But oh well. Now we're, we're adding, we're adding uh, yuck and dirt and grossness to the toilet because yeah, it's used. So, oh yeah, we're going to put all that icky, yucky stuff that goes underneath. I hate cleaning that part of the toilet. Oh my God, it's awful. So gross. Yep. So we're just throwing some washes. Ooh, and squirting some water on there. Look at me. Yeah, it's got to look gross. Got to make it look gross. Oh yeah, we got to glue on a handle. Toilet has to have a handle, y'all. Look at that. Oh yes, we're going to add some grossness to here too bathtub grossness make it all seep down and look natural sort of yep just add some more grossness i mean that that's my favorite part is washes well that and dry brushing you guys know me so ellie doesn't clean her tub i mean it's fine i don't clean my tub very often Adding some grossness to the side. Now, those should be clothy on the bottom of that tub, but I got real lazy. And so they're not clothy. But it still looks good. Just pretend that they're clothy. Oh, time to put whatever that thingy is onto the tubby. Yep, look at that. It looks good. Looks great. Turn out great. We're going to do some super gluing. And we're going to. Put it right there on that part that I carved out specific for this. And then, yes. And then I I hope I show it to you. Oh, good, I do. Oh, see? See? It makes sense now, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, now we're going to add some clay to the barrels. Because they don't, ex they're missing that little detail. So we got to, we got to add some clay and make that little detail I saw somebody else do this. I don't know who. I can't remember. Laser Cut Creations, maybe? I like that guy. That guy does good work. I watch his videos all the time. See? Now it looks like a barrel. It didn't look like a barrel before. Oh, we're going to add some shiny Mod Podge to our toilet. To our dirty, yucky toilet to make it shine with its yuckiness. And now we're going to paint the barrel. And, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. we got a couple of barrels to paint. And uh, we'll set that aside, and then we'll add some dry brushing, obviously. Oh, and we're going to drill. This hand drill thing is amazing. I use it for everything. Um, drill holes so that we can fit all the um, piping together. i got to finish off that pipe. But, um, yeah, we're just kind of getting the piping figured out so that it looks right. Oh, that's that aluminum foil tapey stuff. I have no idea what it's called, but it's great. Wrap it around stuff, and then it kind of looks like, you know, pipe fittings. I don't know if that's what they're called or not, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's coming together. Now we're going we're gonna to paint that pipe. We're going to paint it, and we're going to add some rust, um, some different washes, so that it looks old and dirty and apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic. Yep, spraying it. That's my new favorite thing. You throw on some, like, washes, and then you squirt it with a water bottle. 
And then it just, everything goes wherever it needs to go. And it just looks realistic. It's great. Oh, I'm adding some, some different uh, dry brushing to my barrel. Make it look old and rusted. Oh, see there, that wood piece? I added that um, when you weren't looking. Because it wasn't exactly like the sink in the game, so I turned it into the sink in the game. Also got to add a couple holes, too. I imagine it once was a working sink with an actual faucet. So, you know, it would have holes. Oh, we're going to paint it now. Yeah, we're going to make, you know, I'm starting to wonder if I ever put a drain in that sink. Yeah. I, I don't see a drain in the bottom of that sink. Oh, boy. I wonder if I never did. Huh. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, anyway, so this... This is, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not real. It's a piece of wire with other wire wrapped around it. I think I, I, it was like the hose. It's, there's like this weird hose thing that's in between the toilet and the sink. Um, I don't know what it's for. Perhaps it's for draining the sink because there's no drain. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It looked cool. And it just was a little extra detail the bathroom definitely needed. I mean, you'll see. I mean, it, it ends up definitely looking great. I think it's a hose. It's got to be a hose. Oh, oh, this is the wall outside the bathroom. Yes. So this part of the wall would actually be like the bedroom area. Um, but I wanted it to be detachable. I wanted to be able to take it, in, you know, take it off and, and remove it. Removable. That's the word I'm looking for. So I wanted it to be removable. So I built the, the pieces together and then I painted it. And that's just um, tape. That's like scotch tape underneath and that I you know, ripped some holes out of so that I could make the wall look old. And run down and post-apocalyptic. Um, and then I dry brushed it. So, and then later I'll go back and do something with those holes. It, it, it's supposed to look like a real bad wallpaper job. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here's this is the bathroom door. So that, that's a, a piece of foam. And then I, I put wood around it. Um, and there's actually, um, yeah, I don't remember. Is there two pieces there? Did I not glue them together yet? Oh, well, no, it, it's good now. Yep, see, there's, it's just the one piece. Yeah, see, it looks like a door. Um, I like that foam because you can, you know, cut a bunch of detail into it and make it look cool. Um, so, yep, that was the door. It's apparently done now. So, now we're placing, we're placing things. Oh, yeah, we're just making sure that everything lines up where it's supposed to. See there? See, there's the hose. And there is no drain in that sink. Nor is there really one in the bathtub. Hmm. All right. Well, now we know. <laughs> now we know. Okay, so these um, these are supposed to be like little towels or hand towels hanging on a, a drying rack thing. Drying line. Dry line. It's a drying line. And it's it's hanging off of the, the bookshelf. Anyways, I so I made it. I made it the first time. And I decided that that was good enough. I was just going to wet some paper towel down. Viva Light Cloth Paper Towels. My fave. And then Mod Podge them. Sorry. Mod Podge them. Um, and let them dry. And then I was just going to hang them up. Well, later I go back and I realize that I hate them. And so I redo them and make them less stiff. And I add a little bit of paint to them to make them more colorful. Which you won't see till the final pictures. Okay, now we're making levers. I think that was a piece of wire that I flattened out with a hammer. And then I painted it yellow. Sorry, we're moving on. These are just like all the little details. All the little details that I'm getting painted up to put randomly. I don't really know what that is. It, it's a jar. Okay? It's one of those um, things I pulled off of those uh, electrical boards in like... The kitchen video. When I made the kitchen, they're called whatever they're called. Because I can't remember. And honestly, I don't care enough to, like, 
stop recording to go find out what they're called to then re-record so that I can tell you what they are again. It's not that important to me. So um, I'm just, I'm, I'm painting the little details. That's going to be a, a bucket there on the right. Yeah. And, oh, see, we're going to put a handle on there. It's just like a metal bucket. And I, I, I hope I add some rust to that because everything metal needs rust because we're in the post-apocalyptic times, y'all. Everything needs rust. Please add some rust. I just I just talked about rust. Just make sure that we add some rust, okay? All right, we're going to finish up that handle. I don't I don't see any rust, guys. I miss so this is going great. Ah, uh, this is the shower head. This is a shower head that's hooked to some pipes that's hooked to the other barrel that's above the bathtub. You see that other barrel? Yep. That's where that's going to go. Oh, but we got to put um, the window frame on. We got to put the trim up because it wouldn't look right. Now we're going to add some rust. See, why didn't we add rust to the dang bucket? <sighs> I am failing miserably. No sink hole, no bathtub hole, no rust on the bucket. Oh, we're going to add some details. See, I'm just, we're going to add, maybe there's rust on the bucket. Everybody, no. There's no rust on the bucket. But those details look great, and that's the towel rack I was talking about that I later ripped down and replaced with a different one because I hated it. They're just too stiff. I shouldn't have Mod Podged all of it. I, just, I should have just glued them together so it still felt like it was actual paper towel. Now we're, we're gluing in the shower head. Yep, see the shower head? Yeah. Oh, okay, so... I ordered some acrylic mirror, fake mirror stuff online. And it's great. It's absolutely great because I needed a mirror. <laughs> I did. And um, so now I'm just gluing all the uh, wood pieces to it, framing it out. And it looks awful, but that's the back. Okay, see? Oh, hey, look. Um, who's that lady? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. So we're just going to add a acrylic brown wash, and then and then we're going to add some some dry brushing. And ooh, and now we're we're making the washcloth. See the cute little washcloth. I really tried to match it to the picture I had of the bathroom and the little holder that I'm going to I'm going to glue all that stuff on right now. This is I'm gluing it on now. It's exciting. Yep, look at that. It just goes right on there, just like that. Yep. See, it fits perfectly. See, and the, the, the little, well, you didn't see because it's gone now. The pipes that run down to the sink, I mean, pretty epic, right? Um, last minute, I'm making a bucket because in one of the screenshots, I saw that there was a bucket, a green bucket, like a, a beach pail, you know, that you take to the beach and you dig up sand and, and you make sand castles out of it. That's what it is. It's a beach pail and it had like a shovel in it. Anyways, it's sitting on the floor randomly for some reason. It's a random weird detail. It looks out of place and weird, but it's there and I felt it was important. I'm sure there's a backstory to the bucket. Probably not, but it does add a little color and flair to the bathroom, so I did it anyways. So I'm I'm carving out a bucket. And oh, the shelf. Yes, so these this is the shelf that sits up on the side of the sink. And it holds stuff like soap and toothbrushes and, and a hairbrush. And so I just uh, made that out of some nice soft balsa wood. And you can tell I used leftover pieces because they're not perfect. Oh, the brush. Okay, I did not know how to make the brush. I even at one point tried to glue <laughs> bristles onto it. It was awful. I got so mad. I, I, I totally deleted all that video. So then I decided I'm, I'm going to use air dry clay. And it doesn't actually have to be bristles if it just looks like bristles from far away. So that's what I did. And now... I don't know what this is, a soap dish? 
probably. I mean, it makes sense. And then maybe another dish. Air dry clay. Another dish. Yep, we're making another dish. This is like a makeup thing. I don't know. And then the lid sits off to the side. And I, you know, none of. Okay, now we are making. <laughs> we are back in kindergarten. And we're going to fold paper, y'all. Make some origami curtains. You know, that they're like those really cheap pull-down curtains that you find in the trailer houses. I know because I lived in one a few times. Um, anyways, that's what it is. It's those ones that you pull down. They're, they're like the, the old school blinds. And um, paper. Paper worked great. So I got to do some kindergarten glue stick gluing. And then I painted it to make it look old and gross and dirty. Ellie doesn't clean her blinds, nor does she clean her bathtub. She really should, though. Oh, so here's that tape stuff again that I don't know the name of. It looks like aluminum foil, but it has a sticky back when you peel off the back. It's great stuff. And so I used it, and I, I, I taped it down to a, a thicker piece of paper, and then I cut them, and then I folded them, and I turned them into door hinges. Right? Like, they look like... Epic door hinges. And they actually work. Like, you can move the door. Like, once it's all glued in place. Don't know if I show you that. But, see? Door hinges. Now I have a way of attaching. Ah, yeah. Oh, but, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm forgetting the trim. Okay, good. Good girl. Now we're going to put the trim on. Because you got to have the trim on before you can put the door on. And so, this is the inside of those walls that I made earlier. And so I'm just, I'm gonna glue all the trim on so then we can move on and attach the door like so. And then I realized I forgot to put a wash on that door. So we're gonna mix up some acrylic paint and water real quick. And then, and we're gonna put it all over that door because it, it's too nice and white and it needs to be dirty. And I, I love why. It just brings out all the cracks. Look at all that detail on that foam. Just brings it all out. Now we're going to paint our shelf. We're painting our shelf. A regular brown paint wash. Paint wash? Acrylic wash? I don't know. Oh, some more details. I think that's that's another metal bucket. I'm telling you. that's not, And I, I'm betting I did not add rust to that either. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Nope. I didn't. Probably not. Should have. I'd go back and do it, but I'm totally done. Oh, brush time. See? I mean, I, I paint it all black. I mean, from far away, it kind of looks like a, a hairbrush. And that's one of those, I don't know what those are called. It, it's like a cauldron. It's not a cauldron. What's it called? Where you put herbs in it and you smash it up. Look at that green bucket. It's a proper beach, beach bucket you know, for making castles. Oh, and those little twist knob things are going to go on the pipes. And we're going to dry brush this bucket, and I'm going to pretend that we added some rust to it. And then we have a bright yellow hairbrush. Doesn't that look great from far, far away? Oh, it could dry brush those bristles, make them pop. Yeah, bro. Just got a little dandruff. Um, I don't remember. Oh, toothbrush! Yes, yes, yes. See? Look at that. Look at that. I learned this from somebody. I should remember so I can, like, be like, hey, you know, go check out their channel. They totally taught me how to do this. Anyways, you just do a little bit of glue on the end of it, and then you can paint it, and it looks like a proper toothbrush. Right? Pretty cool. I did that when I made the paintbrushes. That was cool, too. Okay, adding the trim to the outside of the door that faces the kitchen. And then we're going to, ooh, we're going to glue our toothbrushes into our little toothbrush holder. Oh, we're gluing it on the shelf. I love this part. I love doing this. Oh, I want to make something. And there's that hairbrush. I could have gone a little longer with the bristles. 
Eh, all right. It, it's fine. And then this is that little makeup thing. Yeah. And then, like, the top part of it is, like, next to it, not on it, which I think is really adds, like, a very cool little detail. And then the um, witchy cauldron goes on top. It's not a cauldron. Guys, I don't know what it is, but you smash stuff, okay? She makes her own makeup. She doesn't, wear, she doesn't even wear makeup. I don't know what I'm talking about. Looks great. Fantastic. Now, finish the trim. Oh, see, there's the new towels. Sorry, my screen went black. <laughs> it's sleep mode. Um, there's the new towels. Look at all that detail. Oh, and these, these are those little levers. Um, felt, shut off valves. Valves. <laughs> well, we need those. And, uh, yeah, so those got to be on there. Oh, and there's one on the floor. Hopefully I find it. It's probably still. Oh, no, I found it. I fixed it. See, and now we're putting on the little... Whatever those are, the, the stuff. Oh, there's the green bucket. Isn't that okay? Oh, and I forgot a rug. So last minute, I, I took a paper towel and turned it into a rug. And now we need a shower curtain, too. Yes, we're going to have to have a shower curtain. And that is just a cloth paper towel, I think. Or is it toilet paper? No, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a Viva... Light cloth, paper towel, torn in half. It's a two-ply. That's my guess. All right. So here we are. We're going to, yep, look at that shower curtain. Look at that bathroom. Looks pretty good. Oh, got to put that uh, rug in there. Got to have a rug for when you're getting out of your clawfoot tub. And there's the wall, y'all. Gosh, this is this is like the end. Oh my gosh, we're doing photos now, which means I'm gonna bow out now. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can enjoy. Okay, bye. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, yeah, I got to show you these. These are the side-by-side uh, -side pictures. Actual game versus diorama. I mean, my stuff's a little bit more chunkier, you know. Um, and it's more squishy together. But whatever. I, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, I promise I'll get the next video out as soon as possible. If not, like, right away. Um, but very, very soon. And I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.